hey guys welcome back to this channel i'm ella and in this video we are going to create a parametric partition mainly we are going to use railing system for this and after that we are going to use some tricks to turn it into a partition so without wasting any time let's get started create a new family in balusters and in here first set your unit press un and go to length section change your unit to meters and put rounding on two decimal places first thing we need to do in here is to make our baluster height larger so go to this family type here and use 1.5 or probably 2 for this parameter as always we need reference plan so go to create and create some reference plan in this part another one in here one in this part another one in here and also two other reference lines in this part so i'm going to use this measure for this part and also for this part another one for here and this part i also need to create one in this part and in here perfect now select these two and turn them into a parameter let's call this part pole head select these two and turn them into a parameter which we are going to call pole length this one is going to be the half of our pole thickness so it should be pole thickness this one also is something related to pole head so let's call this pole head 2 now go to create and click on this revolve in here set your work plan on left right view this one that we are in right now and then start drawing your shape i'm going to set my axis line in this line exactly in its center and for boundary line i'm going to create a shape like this very simple thing in here and i'm going to lock it with all of these lines so click on this align option here and then click on your reference line and then your line hit tab a few times if you can't find it and then lock it now i'm going to repeat this for all of these parts and i'm going to repeat the same shape and lines for this part too but i'm going to lock this line between these two reference lines like this just select the dimension and click on this line and this part and then this reference plan and then simply click on this eq option here and just leave it like this so whenever you change this line's position it will follow accordingly select it and mirror it to this part i'm going to lock it with all of these lines again and again for this part i'm going to lock it between these two reference lines and also for its height between these two reference lines i'm going to do the same i'm going to click on this part in here and on this reference line repeat it for this part too and now you can hit finish now if you move this line or this one your shape will change accordingly you can move this part too or if you want you can make this part bigger now if you go to 3d view and look at your shape you will have something like this for this part we are going to create another form and for this we need two other reference plans in these two parts so i'm going to go to create and reference plan and in here i'm going to create another reference plan with like another color so we can find it easily 
I'm going to call it red and change its color to this one and if you want you can change this line pattern too. I'm going to use this aligning line for it. So draw another line in this part and in this part. Use dimension for making them equal like this. Create another dimension and turn it into a parameter. Let's call it center width. Okay. Go to create and start another extrusion. Set your work plan on left right view and draw a very simple rectangle in this part. Now I want these two parts to have like fillets and for this I'm going to use this start and reduce arc. I'm going to click on this part and then this part and then here. Now I'm going to move it to this part and I will delete this line. Now we need to lock this circle with this line and the only way we can do this is to use the half of this circle. So I'm going to make it smaller probably to this point and instead of locking it because we don't know this point in this circle is going to be locked with which part of these elements here. Line. So I'm going to align it this line with this point exactly so you see. Now we can lock it easily. I'm going to mirror it for the other side. And again, I'm going to lock this line with this point here. Perfect. Now I'm going to trim these two parts with this line. And then I'm going to lock this line with this line. And again, this line with this one. And simply we're going to repeat it for this part too. Before we hit finish, I want to create another frame inside it. So I'm going to use this peak line with only like one or probably two centimeter offset. And I'm going to click on all of these lines here. Now you can hit finish. Go to ref level and in here you can see this extrusion. You can change its extrusion with these two numbers but if you want to have like better control over it again we are going to use this reference lines i'm going to change it to red and i will create two other reference plans in this part and then i'm going to lock it with this center line here now use this align dimension again and create another parameter for this part we're going to call it center frame okay now you can align this reference line with this one and this reference line with this part. If you want your frame to be smaller than this part, you can use a trick here. Go to family type. Let's say you want this center frame to be twice big as this pole thickness. So we're going to write something like this. If you hit apply you can see that your formula is working perfectly if you change this dimension to let's say 2 this will follow accordingly let's go to 3d view to see how it looks like for its center we can use so many different things for example we can turn it into a mirror or we can use glass for this part. We can separate or divide this part to two or three different parts and we can use different materials for this. It depends on your design and the way you want to use this partition for. For example, you can also use fabric for this. I'm going to show you a very simple way to fill this part. So go to extrusion again and set your work plan on left right view. In here, use this peak line and create a shape in this part with all of these shapes. Now, if you hit finish, you can go to ref level and lock it between two other reference lines. Again, exactly like we did for this. I think it would be better if it's a bit smaller than this part. So I'm going to use another reference plan this part and here 
and I'm going to use this dimension to set it in its center like this and another dimension for its parameter and I'm going to call it center fill then I'm going to lock this line with this part and this line with this part you can again create another formula for this part like we created for this center frame for example you can say you want it to be 1.5 units bigger than this whole thickness or any other thing so I'm going to copy this for this part and I will change this number to 1.5 and this number to let's say 3 and then apply perfect I'm going to use a metal parameter for this part and this frame so I'm going to select them and then I'm going to click on this material and finishes part in this point and I'm going to call it metal for this center part, I'm going to select it and again create another parameter for it, which should be, for example, our glass, mod glass. Click on this family type here and let's see if it's working properly. So first, let's change this baluster height to 2, for example. Apply. Perfect. Let's change this center width to 20 cm. Center fill and center frame works automatically. We tested pole head and pole head number 2. And for this pole length, perfect. Everything working perfectly. Now I'm going to open my project and load this family with this icon here to my project. In your project, go to architecture and use this railing with a sketch pass and create one in this part i want my partition to be in the center of this room so i'm going to draw a line in here now hit finish create a section for this part like this and go to that view perfect this is a very simple railing but if you select it and go to its edit type in here, you can change your baluster from this baluster placement section. Click on this part and in this main pattern part, change your baluster family to the family that you have created, which is this one. I didn't save it, so it's with this default name here. Click on this preview and hit apply. For changing this post or this post, which is end and the start of our railing, you can either change their bolster family to this one or you can simply just select none for them if you want to change the dimension the distance between these two you can change it with this option here distance from previous so i'm going to put it on 50 centimeter or if you want you can make it less or more it actually depends on your space so now OK and apply. Move this railing to this point. If you want to change its height or all of those parameters that we had created there, you just need to go to its family in this project browser. Open your families and find the baluster in railing, this one. Right click on it and go to its type properties. In here you can see all of the parameters that we had created. As you can see, we don't have that baluster height in this part and we need to control the height of this railing with another option. But first we need to measure this height, the height of our room from this floor to its ceiling or its roof. We are going to use this align dimension here and we are going to measure this point to this part. It's almost 3.5 meter. Keep its number in your mind and go to edit type. In here, we are going to use that number for this part. And if you apply this railing, it will turn into a partition. For deleting this part, I'm going to add 15 millimeter to this number like this. Now for deleting this top rail here, there is a 
very simple trick. You just need to select your railing and go to its edit tab. In here, if you go to bolster placement, you can see that its top is attached to top rail element. Put it on host and give a number to this top offset option here. Then simply go back and uncheck use top rail option. But since we use this top rail, this top rail height for the height of our bolster, we can't uncheck it. And also if you go back to your family, you can see that this bolster height is a system parameter, something like this. So we can't have it in our project and it's only available in here. If you click on this part, you can see that you can't even change it. So if you can find a way to control your bolster height, you can use that trick. For now, I'm going to change the distance between these parts and I'm going to use this 50 centimeter for it, like this. And then I'm going to change its center width to, let's say, 40 centimeter. Perfect. Let's go to Inkscape and create very simple materials for them. If you don't want to see this top rail here, you can just simply increase this number to let's say 9. Even 1 millimeter can hide it. Now if you click on this part again, you can create a new material, which we are going to call metal again. And if you click on this part, you can select whatever material that you want. I'm going to select the metal for it, something like this one. And for this glass, I'm going to create another material. And I'm going to select the glass for it. Okay. And apply. Perfect. This is our partitions. As I said, you can use different types of materials for this part and you can change its shape to whatever you want. So yes, that's it. I hope this was useful for you and you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next tutorial.